Hi, this is Paul De La Garza with the High Performance Business Solutions Coaching Minute. Welcome. You're now viewing the series, the first installment of the series of Hero Sushi Dreams. If you haven't seen the introduction, I would recommend that you stop the tape right now, go into the introduction, which will give you a brief description in terms of what we're going to be covering in the next five coaching minutes. So we're going to talk about the first, the first attribute of excellence, which in the way the hero has presented it is to take your work seriously. This is the commitment that he has made to consistently perform at the highest level that an individual can within his particular art or work. One of the things that Hero has really expressed as his commitment is that it's not just about the money. As a matter of fact, as you observe and, and view this documentary, one of the things that you will clearly see is that the money is almost a secondary consideration for him. His commitment to his work is first and foremost. And what happens as a result of that is that he transcends the need to make money, to make profits or anything like that. Now, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't focus on that. It just simply means that his first order of business is to achieve a level of excellence because of the commitment that he has toward achieving that level of quality of work. And as a result of that, bringing the best forward for his patrons, his actual restaurant consumers. So here's the thing that we have to make sure that we don't do. We have to make sure that in the process of us being able to commit to achieving our highest level, that we really bring an element of discipline. Now, discipline has got a certain number of, shall we say, benefits. When we commit to discipline, one of the things that we do is we escape the clause of homeostasis, homeostasis, our comfort zone, our path of least resistance. When we observe discipline, we are consistent in the way that we meticulously perform at the highest level. We have certain structure and certain rhythms by which we really abide, by which we really work, and these are uncompromising. If you are in sales, one of the things that you need to be doing is systematically making those calls to your clients, the follow-up necessary, the structure of your call to have a clear objective in terms of what the sales call needs to be. If you're in leadership, to make sure that the mission is always clear for your team, that your team is constantly validated into this so that they can really focus upon the mission as the what we call the invisible leader. In either case, discipline is a structure that is of great power and that is essential for the success of any endeavor. When you are disciplined and you have a vision, it's extraordinary to see the results that these two elements combined can generate for you. And it's just simply that commitment of taking your job and your work seriously. Because you are clear about the vision. You are clear about how you want to achieve it. You are clear about the disciplines that are associated with this. All in all, it is essential that whatever it is that you're doing, that you commit that you're going to achieve a level of excellence, but the first element of that, the foundational component, is that you give yourself a full commitment to what you're doing and that you take what you do with complete commitment and seriousness. So, does this mean that you cannot have fun? No, not at all. You can truly promote joy in this. It's just simply a matter of the pursuit of excellence in the process of your daily work. Thank you so much. I hope that you found value today on this Coaching Minute, and please stay tuned for the next one where we are going to talk about how you should aspire to improve yourself. Take care and be well.